Hello guys, today we will see how we can create a multi-regional load balancer and how we can do request outing. So what we will we do in this uh, video, uh, we will create a load balancer that will direct traffic based on the path in the request URL and it will balance the traffic across multiple regions. So we are going to create four VMs total. So we are going to use instance templates and instance group and in which we are going to create VMs in uh, US central one and in one in EU west one region and we will create a load balancer that will route traffic to this instance so these are the steps we are going to cover in this video we will configure a network and subnet some steps I have already done so our main focus here is on application load balancer only after that we will work uh, create firewall rules then we will create instance instance will be created via instance template and instance group then we will reserve external IP address, configure load balancing and send traffic to our instances once our load balancer is up. Then we will also check multi-region functionality whether it is working or not. So this is the diagram which we, we are going to create today on a Google Cloud Console. So we will use IPv6 and IPv4. We will reserve two address. So user can come from anywhere from IPv6 or IPv4 after that once it will reach to our load balancer IP. IPv4 forwarding rule and we have IPv6 forwarding rule also. After that, that they will hit target HTTPS proxy. Then they will go to URL map. So what will happen if they type slash video like in any URL they are using like example.com slash video. So their request will go to this backend. And if they type anything else, so this request will go to this backend service as you can see. So in each backend, we have two instance group. So in this backend, I have two instance group, one in US and one in uh, in Europe. Same for here, I have two instance groups, one in US and one in Europe. So what will happen? So if anyone come from via Europe, traffic will, will always hit Europe uh, instance group and US traffic will hit US instance group. So which is near to them, like if from India, if we hit, I think we will go to US uh, first. We will check that after that uh, we can do also check multi region functionality. So what we can do like we will take down this instance group and we will check whether our traffic will ship to US or not. And uh, after that uh, this all we have to do and instead of do creating two VMs, I have created only one VMs as you know that uh, because of some quota limit. So I'm using only one VM for all of uh, this instance group. So let's start our demo and we are going to first I have I will show you how to configuring our side network and subnets so here I am in my console so I am using this network LB network so let's go inside this network and see what I have configured so as of now you can see I have two subnets EU subnet and US subnet if you don't know how to create all these you can check out my previous videos in which I have covered in very in depth how to create VPC and all the functions we have also, I am using uh, IPv6 range also. You can check my previous video. I will uh, put a link in that description in which I have uh, covered all the details. So that will be helpful for you. So I have also IPv6 subnet. So for that IPv6 traffic to check, I have created IPv6 subnet. When you enable IPv6 subnet, so we have got two options. Whether you want to create external IP range or internal IP range. You don't you cannot create both for IPv6 so I have, here I have created IP external IP range so I will put a link so you can get a much much better info how to all these things works so this is my subnets EU subnet US subnet and after that this this is for testing subnet IPv6 so let's I will show you now my second of thing like the instance template I have created instance template for all of these uh, if you see for this I have created all these instance template so if I go to instance template like this video EU template, I can go inside that. So I have taken a very basic configuration like machine type E2 small. You can also do that. I have covered all these info how to create instance template, instance group. You can check out my previous videos. So I'm basically I'm focusing on multi regional load balancer on this video. After that, uh, I have created. I am using this uh, image for Debian and this is my network, this is my LB network and subnet EU subnet and the main thing I am using, I am using a startup script as you can see. So this is the script which will run and it will uh, serve the page, like page from 
IP is served from when I hit that uh, my load balancer IP. So it will give me the host name, VM host name. And if you go to my instance groups, you can see that I have also created uh, four instance groups. If we go inside that, you can see that I am using only one instance. That's why it is uh, giving this uh, warning type. And this is my simple VM which I am using. And if I go to VM instances, these are my four VMs you can, which is a part of instance group as you can see IG video for EU and US and IG triple W for EU and US and this is my VM for testing purpose we will enable it later on so let's create uh, and the main thing is firewall policy in firewall rules you have to create some firewall rules for this specific range if you don't create you will not pass the health checks and it will your uh, that LV will not come up like it will show that your uh, VMs or backends are unhealthy so we have to make sure that you create this this firewall rule it is a ingress firewall rule and it will have a, uh, action is allowed so what will happen the load balancer will send traffic to your backends to check whether they are healthy or not so the load balancer will send traffic from these two IP range maybe it will change in future as of now these are the two IP range and will send on port 80 and I have enabled it on all the instance in my project uh, but you can use network tags if you want to use and you can attach that network tags in your instance template but I am using it for all the VMs so you can see that these are applied to my all the VMs like Euro, IG you can see and all that instance group it has been applied so now let's create a load balancer and see what we what option we have so we'll click on load balancer that is a uh, application load balancer and we will create from internet to my VMs so we will continue so we will give it a name like we can give multi regional VM after that uh, let's configure the backend first so we will go and create a backend service so we can give an this name like www dot uh, sorry backend service we can check the name from here also so for everything else we have to use www and for that slash video we have to use this instance group so let's go back we have to choose the instance group here in the backend type we, i have covered all these in my previous videos if you want to see anything specific what these options are you can check that out my previous videos after that we will choose https we have a named port which i have already added in my instance group after that we have to select an instance group so it is my www dot so i will use first us one and it is work on port 80 just click on done then we will add a, one more backend in the same uh, backend service so let's click on add and add backend and choose our EU one which is in Europe and done you can see so for this specific backend service we are using two backends IG uh, US and IG EU and for protocol keep it as HTTP only as my backends are working on port 80 so all is done you can check out this advanced configuration but it is not needed for this uh, demo we can just click on create okay we have forgot the health check so we can create a health check i already have a health check if you don't have you just click on create a health check and give it a name and protocol and all that on which your backends are working so load blender can check your backend uh, like whether they are healthy or not by sending the traffic and you can configure this health criteria like how you want to the interval timeout healthy threshold and unhealthy threshold like this you can do all that so i have already created a health check so i will use that only after that we click, click on just create after that we will create one more backend service we will click on this and this is my video backend service in this we also use instance group so let's select uh, video us and click on done and we will to create one more backend here and give it a name like video eu we will select this one which is in our europe location make click done after that we will select the health check 
the same health check we have created previously you can select that also after that just click on create click at ok that in the outing rules this is our default service so like in this the uh, www back uh, hyphen backend hyphen service our default service as we can see in the ppt also any traffic everything else will go to this only so we will leave it this as backend uh, our default service and for second service you can give your host name also or you can just give a star for like anything if come to slash video or it comes like something slash video slash anything so it will go to video backend service you can uh, like we have created a path so path what will happen like example www dot example dot com slash video then it will go to this backend service and anything else which will come it will go to this backend service we will configure our front end so you can give uh, any name if you want to like we can give ipv4 front end after that you have to select the protocol if you are having a certificate then you can choose https otherwise you can go with http also but i have a certificate so i am going to use over https after that you can create a ip address if you don't have just click on create ip address give it a name and it will deserve ip address for you so be sure that you are using that ip address otherwise google charge uh, some amount higher than if you don't use i have ip address i'm using that after that you have to select a certificate I have a certificate if you don't have just click, click on create a new certificate you can use google manage certificate or you can upload your certificate also if you are you using google manage certificate so then you have to verify your domain name but uh, I, I already have a certificate so i am just use my ssl certificate and in advanced options we don't know much things so just click on done we will add another back end another front end this time it is ipv6 front end the same i have the protocol using https only and this is ipv6 so you have to select this version after that you option auto allocate create ip i have already allocated a ipv6 ip address i will use that port is 443 and again certificate we have to use i have used my same certificate so if you are using google manage certificate so the ip which you will get from google like once my vm has been created or before vm also i know this is my ip which i am going to use like ipv6 so you have to create a that's like in your domain where it is like godaddy or wix or even in google domains so you have to create a a record and four times a record for ipv6 and ip ipv4 then only your certificate will get, uh, get active otherwise it will not get active and it will be in provisioning or failed state so you have to remember this just click on ok and click on done everything looks fine for me we can review and finalize if we want so we have two front end this is my front end ip for ip4 this is for ipv6 so we have a routing rules any traffic with slash video slash video hyphen anything will go to video backend and any other traffic will go to back uh, this this service is my backends in video backend i have uh, two uh, instance group a video for us and europe and same from www dot uh, hyphen i have two backends let's uh, click on create and wait for it load plancher has been created so let's go inside and check what we have so as you can see like i have these are my two front ends these are my routing rules which i have already shown how we have, we have configured and this is my these are all my backends services in which we have two instance group for uh, video and two instance group for our ww dot backend service so let's go and so i have already configured like uh, these ip with my domain name so basically i will hit my domain name only directly instead of going with this ip so if my this is my domain name so if i hit this domain name, you can see it is saying that a page is being set from us one so if you see this is from if, if i go to my vm instance and you can see this is the page which is this is the vm which is serving my request as of now also if i go to slash video as we have here slash video or slash it will go to video backend service so let's click on this so you can see it is going to video backend service which is a part of seven um, this one 
it is going to us so from india it is going to us only as we can see so now what we can see do like i have already have a vm which is in europe and as you can see in the in that zone also and this is have a ipv6 ip also and ipv4 ip also so i will ssh into this vm and i will show you if we hit from this uh, vm the traffic will hit our euro vms so i have already logged in into this vm vm which is in uh, europe location so i will hit uh, this specific url from this uh, vm so i will just curl hyphen k for not checking the certificate and just click on this so as you can see now this traffic is going to eu only so 4 lgs it is my vm which is in my europe location so from this we can understand that uh, it is going to nearby zone only nearby location only so all the traffic going to here if i just remove video and just send it and the traffic it is also going to eu only so what what we can do more like uh, we can make this uh, vm down or we can make this our us vm down to further testing so before for the testing i will also want to show you ipv61 so i have a one more vm in which euro vm1 and i will curl our uh, ipv6 ip from here so i will just copy my IP, ipv6 ip from here so we can test whether ipv6 is working or not so just copy this and go to here and curl ipv6 so to know we are going to and https I have to provide hyphen k also so it doesn't check the certificate so you can see it is serving the page from eu and so our ipv6 is also working fine if we even provide slash video okay give me a second so it is also giving a response over video also so we have tested that our all the setup is working fine as we can see like our traffic is going according to the nearest zone or nearest region so more we can check now we can like uh, make our us zone, eu zone down yeah so from uh, uh, we will just log in into our us vm and make that vm down so let's do that so i have logged into my video us vm which is a part of instance group so as of now we can see that it is going if i go into via browser it is going to this specific vm only 7g q6 for video it is not going over eu as we can see here also so what we will do we will just uh, uh, make our like web server down so we will run this command system cpl stop apache 2 now we will just refresh this page some time we will see it is uh, just uh, dropping our traffic and it is some time that once the load balancer will come to know that our vm is down it is not passing health check it will just forward the traffic to eu1 so we'll see now it is sending traffic to eu which is another zone so once our this specific instance is down this instance group is down so what will load balancer will do once the health check getting paid it will send traffic to this specific uh, instance group which is also a part of this uh, backend service so how so we have all now we have checked this also like it, how to create uh, like how to check multi-regional functionality so even if you go to load balancer now we will come to it will give a show us like here only so you can see that one backend uh, service is unhealthy even we can go inside that and it will show which one is down so it is showing this one it is not passing health check because our we have the apache which is a web server working on port 80 we have make it make it down that's why it is now the health check getting failed so once load balancer is uh, that is smart enough that it will via the health check it came to know that it is down so it is it is now sending all the traffic to this service this uh, sorry instance group not service so once we make this instance group uh, up so it again sending the traffic to this one only we can check that also so let's go back and restart our apache 2 is started so let's see in how much time it will start. it is still sending to eu only so one health checks will getting get pass it will sending against the okay it will now sending to us only you can see that how fast it is and so this is the demo which i want to show you like 
so we have covered multiple things so we have covered this the multi regional functionality and if we also covered like if one region goes down how it will send a traffic and for which user it will send the traffic to nearest instance group so this for what we have covered we have covered ipv6 also little bit and how to create these ipv6 and all that and also chat ipv6 is working fine or not that's all from this if you have any issues or comment or anything this comment i will try to solve thank you